Hey guys, we're getting ready to do the uh, rear bulkhead here. Now, um, we're going to do this one a little bit different because um, a lot of things need to line up. Um, number one, the landing gear here um, needs to be installed so that uh, we got the right spacing and everything for that. Um, something that you want to pay attention to is uh, you can see where this fiberglass that goes underneath the landing gear there, the, the fuselage. Um, if you're not careful, you want to make sure that bulkhead is pushed all the way back. Otherwise, that will flex away from the uh, landing gear, and it just looks kind of funny. Um, the other thing, too, is I made a little custom. Uh, you can see it right in the back there. I don't know if it's going to focus, but anyways, there's a, just a little wooden uh, block to give that um, the spacing so that that landing gear, that big piece there, um, actually goes all the way down otherwise it's up about a um, I don't know an eighth of an inch or so and uh, I'm not sure if that's just a mistake or what the deal is but uh, anyways it'll also cause that to bow when you screw in that screw there'd be a gap underneath there and then it would look kind of funky so anyways so I wanted you to pay attention to that um, so the landing gear, that's to give us the correct spacing from the forward bulkhead to the rear bulkhead. Uh, we got that covered. Uh, the next thing is these rear holes here. We're actually going to put the wings on um, while we let the glue set up and everything. Um, but what I'm going to do is we're going to take the high saw. I definitely don't want to glue my landing gear in. Um, by accident. So what I'm going to do tonight is um, take the high saw and we're going to go from about there all the way around. Um, we'll get it and then I'll go in on the uh, back side and get the back side of the uh, bulkhead and um, there's a little bit of a gap around so we want to make sure that we're getting a good glue coverage so wood to the fiberglass so um, probably have to hole up a little bit and make sure that uh, the glue oozes in there so anyways so we'll get uh, that tonight and then I'll once it's dry I'll take the uh, landing gear out and then we'll get that bottom portion uh, taken care of I'll be able to get from the back side because I'm not going to be able to squeeze it in enough that it's going to come out the front but um, I just don't want to take the chance of uh, accidentally gluing in the landing gear so Anyway, I'm um, not going to show you the steps this time because uh, the video that we did uh, last night, that one's, uh, I mean, it's just the same thing. We're just gluing around the edge, and I'll show you what it looks like once we're uh, ready to go and once I start putting the wings on. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you in a few. Okay, gang, check this out. Uh, I got the inside here. Um, that's the rear bulkhead uh, way down there. Um, got a nice bead all around the outside. I uh, tried to make sure I got all the little nooks and crannies the best I could and that there was a good bond between the uh, fiberglass and the wood or that there was at least glue between the two so I'd get a good adhesion. So anyways, that's that. And then from this side, you can see, well, not a whole lot to see actually, but uh, there is uh, actually a bead of... I saw all the way around. Um, you can kind of see there, and then uh, I did, got it under the underside there. So now here's where we're at the fun part, and actually make it look like we've got a little bit of progress going. We need to put the wings on. So let me get you up on the tripod here. and put the wings on and the reason that we're doing this is um, so that we know our holes are lined up on that bulkhead so here's the first one
easier to put the mounts in first by themselves. All right, so there we have it. And for you sharp observers, if you're wondering if this actually protrudes into the uh, where the duct goes, the answer is no. Um, I just haven't actually glued this into the wing mount yet, so it's not all the way in. So anyway, um, and as far as the angle of the wings um, or the uh, they're supposed to be level, straight all the way across. Um, they're pretty much that way, but um, I've got enough play in the uh, between the mounting blocks and the wing surface on the inside that I can adjust that later. Right now, we're just mainly concerned that that the two um, uh, mounting um, rods for the uh, wings actually line up with our bulkhead because we want it to dry uh, lined up. So anyway, that's pretty much it for tonight uh, we gotta let that high saw dry and uh, but um, it's getting pretty awesome because we're starting to look like an airplane there take a look at that do, 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 do. so pretty much where we're going to be working next is going to be we have to uh cap off the wings here with the thin ply and we'll do that um, unfortunately I'm gonna be out of town this uh, weekend so we won't be doing any more construction until Tuesday so if anybody's wondering uh, where I'm at or if I'm dead or whatever then that's what's going on so anyway I'll see you guys on the next video